Hey everyone, welcome back to part two of the recent dollar bin haul at a local comic store that I went to. This is the second half of the massive amount of books that I got for only 50 bucks. So if you add up the number of books from the first video, the number of books from this video, you can see what I, I paid for the whole amount. And it's kind of nuts because it's, I'm fairly certain it's well under a quarter a piece, but let's get started. All right, here we go. I had never seen these in person before. I'd seen them on the wall. Usually the set runs for about 10 bucks, but I really wanted to read it. I love Sam Keith. I love Lobo. And I don't know if this is Scott Ian on this from Anthrax writing this or not. I'll have to look that up and see. I'm not sure, but these have been um, sitting in the box and I haven't had time to look that up, but I'm definitely going to. Anything Dazzler, I'm going to pick it up. My wife is a gigantic Dazzler fan. So looks like here she's uh, teaming up with Spidey and fighting some people. I can't tell if this is Kang or not. Maybe the Paladin, I'm not sure. I'm on Christmas covers kick lately. I actually found two of these, same book you'll see um, <laughs> later, I, I picked it up. Uh, Spider-Girl number 54 with this giant, you know, rifle, <laughs> whatever. I don't even, I wouldn't even call that a rifle, just something. I don't even know what to call that, on, honestly. But this is like a, um, a collaboration with Udon, so I don't necessarily know what this cover was or if it was a specific variant or not, if anybody has any information. Leave it down below in the comments because I'm not sure. This is uh, Zombies Christmas Carol, and really, like, this art on this is fantastic. I do not know who did it. It almost looks like Kyle Hotz, but I'm not sure. Oh. Is that Scrosi? I think maybe that's, he put his name on the tombstone. I think that's it. Working on the Spider-Man 2099 run, so I got number 39. And number 40, stoked to get those. Amazing Spider-Girl number one. Spider-Man 2099, I just recently found out from a buddy that there are two different versions of this. There's a regular flat version and the second premium version is embossed. It's probably kind of hard to see on this, but everything's raised. And this, the it's shiny on the premium one too working on the vigilante run for my daughter so i got number 45 47 48 and 49 so one away from the end number 50 is the last issue i found another copy of this fantastic pink cover and honestly one of the best reads in all of comics i highly suggest everyone go online and see if you can read it for free at least it's such a good issue swamp thing number 43 it's Two, winner of two Eagle Awards. Should have won Eisner's in my, in my eyes. JSA number 10. Awesome Kingdom Come Superman on there. Swamp Thing. This is the last issue of this run. Uh, number 29. Missing this issue of Doom Patrol. Number 42. Showcase Presents Doom Patrol. Number 96. Or Showcase Presents number 96. The new Doom Patrol. But I got that one for my daughter. Batman, Judge Dredd, book one of two, so not, uh, die laughing, so I have to find number two, because I don't have that either. Batman, Houdini, this looks super interesting. I'm pretty excited to read that one. Last video, I said, don't sleep on the 80s indie horror, and I meant it. Werewolf at Large, number one from Eternity. Uh, Madman cover, awesome, strangely painted werewolf, I'll say that. It almost looks like he's got an eye in the middle of his forehead. I don't know. Uh, this is the last issue of Peter Parker Spider-Man. And there are two covers to this. So it's the exact same pose. And you can see it on the inside of this. I'll open it up and show you in a second. But I have the other version of it too where it's printed on the outside. It's the exact same pose, but he's like just totally like he just got his butt kicked. So let's check it out. I don't really do this too often. Open up the book. 
on video, but you can that way you can see exactly what it looks like. Because so if you see both of them out in the wild, it's like the variant. So you can see it's the same exact thing, but him just getting worked. Put that back in there real quick. All right. Secret Warps Part Four: Arachnite. This is the annual Secret Warps. Number one, it's Secret Warps Part 4, or it's Arachn Arachnite Annual Number 1. I said that probably in the worst way possible, but hopefully that covered all the bases. I had to pick this up. Uh, awesome <laughs> homage, that classic Spider-Man cover. But Marvel Apes, Amazing Spider-Monkey. If it's got a monkey on it, I'm probably going to get it. Infernal Man thing number one had to pick that up. I get that every time I see it because I'm a giant man thing fan. Hellstorm Prince of Lies. This is the final issue of Hellstorm. It's pretty hard to find. It's the first time I've ever found it. And I had, the whole run was there, and I was so excited. I almost bought the whole run, and I was like, I'm just going to check if that one is there first. Mars Attacks Popeye. Could not, could not pass that up. It's just too, too freaking good, man. Walt Disney's Christmas Parade, number one. Just a great Christmas cover, Donald the Santa. Alien Worlds, number eight. Web of Spider-Man, just amazing. I don't know who did these covers. I definitely need to look it up and see, but this volume of Web of Spider-Man has a different villain on each cover that's just like this drawn by the same person and these two were my favorite out of all of them they're all really really good there's also a spidey one and a, i want to say a mary jane one maybe might be mary jane but this one is my favorite hands down because mysterio is my favorite spider-man villain that's just gorgeous i like how they incorporated the eyes right here that you don't really see too often okay 2000 ad Monthly number one featuring Judge Dredd. It's totally awesome, man. It's insane. Is that it right there? Judge Dredd early cases. Him just giving somebody a dental checkup with his baton. It's pretty awesome. Number three. Judge Dredd in the Judge Child Quest. Just beautiful Boland cover. I love all of his work on these. I love all his work, period. But So I think... This one is the monthly, and this one, uh, or this was the, the, the small mini series, six issues, and this is the ongoing monthly. So, number one, number two, number three. The, this number two cover is probably my favorite one. And number four, um, with this crazy looking demon coming for Hitler, because. Hitler sucks. Uh, I'm going to give a shout out to all sorts of words on YouTube. Uh, Ricky Cadabra, he's a gigantic Judge Shred fan. And I wanted, maybe he knows the chronology because there's a lot more dread coming. Maybe he understands what came when. So now we'll, now we can kind of uh, hopefully see. This is one of the, the weirdest comic covers ever. Uh, Judge Dread number 25. I love that one. It's getting ugly. Another Boland masterpiece. Number 27. Number 29. Probably one of the craziest looking covers. A child strapped to a bomb and Judge Dread just watching. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy. Number 30. This is one of my favorites in the whole run. It just looks so grotesque and I love it. Weird thing is I hate mushrooms. Uh, number 34, I don't know if it jumps from Eagle to, to Quality or if it's the same and they changed their name. I'm not sure. And then now we're going back a little bit farther when Fleetway did it. I don't know if this is before or afterwards, but I got a giant chunk of this run. 15, 18, we'll burn through them. 20, so I'm missing 19. 21, 22, that's a great cover. 23, 33, big jump. 34. I thought something was wrong with this cover at first, but I realized he's slamming his face up against glass. I couldn't really see. It's hard to, hard to tell. 35. Oh, 
24. So now we're going back. It's all over the place. I don't know. I thought I put them in order. Maybe I messed up. 36. 38. 45. 46. Let's get to the next stack. I just read. 47. 48. 49. 50. 51, 52, 53, that's awesome, 54, and 55, shoving everybody into an office or an elevator, I can't tell, looks like an elevator, I'm not sure, and I don't know if this was the direct addition, because it has this listed, or this is technically a newsstand, because it says that on quite a lot of them and some of them don't even have it. So that'd be a good kind of mystery to figure out. We'll burn through them because we got probably about 50 more books. Futurama number one. This is the second time I found this recently. I mean, I'd never seen it before. Super Cops number three and number four. I think I have the whole, whole series now. That one looks like probably a direct. That's a newsstand. Amazing Spider-Man Family, second one of these I found recently too. I tie into to Brand New Day, I guess. Shred Comics. If it's skateboarding, I'm going to pick it up. Um, I kind of thumbed through it real quick just to see what the art looked like. It's not very good, but it's a skating comic, so I'm probably going to get it. Um, let's see here. The War of the Bounty Hunters number four, IG-88 uh, action figure variant. Got to pick that one up. IG-88 is my second favorite bounty hunter besides Boba Fett, obviously. So. Demon Blade, number one. Chuck Dixon wrote this. I have no idea, but samurai stuff, I'm probably going to pick it up too. Justice League Spectacular. I think in the last video I showed the other side of this with Green Lantern up, up to here, and it's pretty cool connecting cover. Green Lantern, Hal Jordan, not Guy Gardner. Beautiful Stories for Ugly Ch Children, Volume 2. I'm not working on the run, but I read part of number one, and I wanted to read number two, and it was there, so I got it. Popstar Assassin from Behemoth. Amazing cover. I, I just, that's pure cover buy for me. It's so great. Dracula and the Wolfman. Cover B. This is a one shot. So I want to find the cover A, but that's a great um, fighting cover. ASM 592. This one was fantastic. Marvel Zombies Resurrection <laughs> with Squirrel Girl and Kamala Khan as zombies. Pretty, pretty rad. 3D Dinosaurs for Hire, number one, from Eternity. Subspecies, number one. I, believe it or not, I had a very, very hard time finding this book, so I'm glad I finally found it. I don't know how many they ran. Maybe my buddy Outpost31 can let me know because he knows everything about basically every horror comic ever made. So, you know, if you're watching this, bro, leave a comment down below and let me know. Halloween Terror, number one bunch of different um like anthology of stories deadpool and work with the mouth number one i think in the last video i showed number two so i found them both together i was kind of excited about that dean's oak tales number nine amazing ryan stegman beta ray bill cover i've not read this series yet i really really want to every person who i've spoken with about it has said it's amazing the art and the story so Kind of excited to dig into that i think i got another variant of this one too or maybe the original cover meteor man number one newsstand i'm looking for that one for a while lance barnes post nuke dick number two him fighting a bunch of cigarettes that's pretty great and weird i'm gonna buy all the weird metal lark number one so this is obviously a parody of shadow hawk and it's all about like basketball and i think like I want to say maybe Jordan's in it. I don't remember. Maybe Shaq is in it. Maybe it was, I think it was a little bit before. Maybe right at the time Shaq broke, but had to, had to pick that up for a foil Friday and, and a weird cover. Proctor Valley Road. I got three copies of number one. That's supposed to be something, so I figured why not for less than a quarter. Secret Invasion. I know it already happened, but this is number three, the second print. Number five. I just love this cover. It's just... A fantastic cover, scroll cover. 
Moon Knight number five. Why not? Hammer of God, a series I always wanted to at least read number one of. So that's why I got that. The last stack in the box, and I got one more stack outside of the better stuff. Awesome. Bowl and cover, Secret Origin Special, number one. Batgirl, number one. Tomb Raider, number zero. Everybody, everybody loves Tomb Raider for two, you know, triangular shaped or pyramidal shaped reasons, I should say. Marvel Voices Legacy, number one. It's a great cover. The art on that is just fantastic. It's smooth. Everything looks good. Shaded, like, so well. So I just thought it was great. Vault of Horror, number one. Every time I see this, I pick it up. Everybody likes the reprints. They want to read it at least number one. Gunslinger Spawn, number one. I think that's a variant. No, that's just a standard. Human Remains, number one. That looked really interesting. A lot of color and a lot of blood. So I picked it up. Blood Sword Dynasty 1 and 2. That was a twofer. So be interesting to read. It's martial arts. I'll probably probably check it out. Squee number two. Same dude who wrote Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. So pick these ones up too, because they kind of have a cult thing just like Johnny does. Go pick them up. Secret Warriors number two. And number three. Number four is the one you really, really want, and I always get confused when I'm hunting. Every single time I get them confused. So I'm like, oh yeah, you want number two and three, and four is the one you really, really want. And and I think six. Maybe number one, too, but I'm not really sure. There's number two of Super Cops. I showed three and four before. Here's the variant, another variant of that Beta Ray Bill. That's a great one, too. A little more animation looking, but it's pretty great. Uh, Marvel Zombies 4 of four. Greg Land cover. Madam Xanadu 1, Preview of Air. Doc Stern, Mr. Monster, Origins. Great. Just a beautiful Dorman uh, cover. Dave Dorman is one of my favorite artists. It's just fantastic. Found a little, little chunk of Miracle Man. The original run from Eclipse, number 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So I will take those, put them all over here. Marvel Divas, number one. I was looking for the rest of the series, but I think one of my buddies who I was hunting with uh, ended up getting it. Wonder Girl, number one. Dark Horse Presents, number 22, two copies. And this one flies under the radar. This is the first appearance of Duckman. He's on like one panel at the very end. Um, I found a bunch of these recently. I think it's like the fourth, third and fourth copies I found. So pretty great. World War Hulk number one to start of that. That's a good one to keep your eye out for, especially if the Sentry shows up because he shows up in like number four, number five, I think. I think it's number five. Catwoman number 82. Adam Hughes this is the final issue of this cover. I found a lot of final issues in this. I was very, very surprised. Magnus number three, early Valiant. I always pick up you know, the first couple issues of every title in, in Valiant, almost. Almost all of them, but Magnus, definitely. Justice League number one, newsstand. You can pass that up, right? Dave homage this cover tons of times. New Avengers. Second print of number 49. That's a, a good one to keep your eye out for, too, because a lot of people specking on that. I've been looking for this for a while. I saw somebody post this. I forget who it was. Somebody I follow on Instagram. And this just looked like such an awesome book that I didn't even know existed until I saw it. It's uh, Martial Law versus Pinhead and Law in Hell. And it's a two-parter. And I really wish they had number two. Martial Law is such a fantastic read. I highly suggest everyone read that too. But this just looked too cool to pass up. And it's all shiny and foily and all the red parts. All right, so we got Chippendale Rescue Rangers, and they are, they don't look like they've been touched. So I got three copies of this. Really, I have two because I'm giving one to my buddy, but I got a new stamp. So I'm going to send two of those out because my wife is a giant Chippendale Rescue Rangers fan. Another book that I had never seen in the wild before, Spider-Man 2099 meets Spider-Man. 
like a one shot semi prestige format. It's kind of square bound. It's really cool. Super sharp as well. Secret War one of five looks brand new. That's a 98 candidate if I've ever seen it. Spider Man Super Special number one. It's Planet of the Symbiotes part two. Never, I never come across this book either. Tomb of Dracula. That's like a $30 book all day. Um, Nightwing, number one. This one looks crispy as well. I have this in an 8.5. Second or third time I found it. And I graded the 8.5 for my wife because she's a big Nightwing fan. But I think I'm going to send this one in because this one looks like a contender. Vigilante, number one. That's blown up since the first season of... Uh, blown up and subsided since the first season of Peacemaker, but that's a good book to always kind of keep your eye out for. Action Comics. 424 and 429. Just pretty good looking copies of early bronze Action Comics. Superman Batman 87. It's the last issue. Pretty. I've, I've never seen it before. I've seen all the issues up to it. But I've never seen this out in the wild before, so had to pick that one up because I get pick up last issues. Superman Red Sun, really crispy looking copy of that too. That's a great, great book. Let's do this one first. Tiger Man. This is the first appearance of Tiger Man from Atlas. It's number one, but I don't know if you can see it, but <laughs> it's just so weird looking. I had to get it. But surprisingly, this is like a five ten dollar book. I had no clue. I was just like, "It's so weird. I gotta, I gotta pick it up." Spider Man Special Edition. This was a mail away, so this one you don't see very often either. And this one looks pretty good as well. It's got a little uh, ding on the corner right there. It's a little blunted, but everything else looks great on it. But I never see this. This is an embossed cover as well. You can, you can feel everything. It's pretty cool. Um, this. And here are the two last books. I've been looking for this one for a while. I'm so stoked to be able to find it for as cheap as I got it for. Lone Wolf and Cub number one. I'm working on completing this. Yeah. Stoked to have that because I want to read the whole thing. And probably the best book I got in this entire haul was Batman Superman Annual number four. The first full appearance of Batman Beyond in like DC continuity. So the second, they did a second print of this one too. That's a different, it's like different colors in the background and stuff. That's the one that's a pricey book, but I was stoked to find this one because this is like a $50 book all day. But that's it. That's the whole second part. Hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate that. And until next time, keep digging.